So we're here at the Computex 2015 and uh, you're making this product, so who are you? Uh, we are a company called Jide. Uh, we are based, our headquarters is in Beijing, China. Um, so we make this tablet. So it's a tablet that's, uh, let's, let's try it out on the table over there. Okay, let's try it there. So, can you open? Okay, so it looks pretty nice. Stand. Two angle. Yeah. Nice. So you can sit on the table or sit on your lap. All right. And I'll open it. Right there. So what is this UI that we're looking at? Is it Android? Uh, it's based on Android 5.0. It's called Remix OS. So you make the Remix OS? Yes, uh, our software team make the Remix OS. It's modified based on Android. Uh, we modify Android so that we put the PC experience into Android. It looks like a tray bar here with some bunch of icons. Is this apps that this you can just open? This is apps already open. So it's kind of like a taskbar on Windows. And they open like Windows? Yes. So for apps, because a lot of the apps are designed for cell phones, so we provide a switch between the phone mode and the full screen mode. So for example, this is Skype. I can change it to full screen if I want to. Whoa. It become a full screen Skype. That sounds, that's awesome. So you just click on your logo down there. Yeah. And this is a special functionality. Nobody's ever done this before, no? Yeah. It's a special function you come up with. So uh, you either do this or you go full screen mode? Yeah. This is full screen already. And you might want to switch back to phone mode. It'll be a phone mode. Ah, phone mode, it, so it looks like if it was on a phone. It, yes, because a but lot it's of the actually apps, a window. Because a lot of the apps are designed for phone, so if you switch it to phone mode, it actually behaves like as if it's running on a phone. So, uh, can you make everything as small windows or only some apps? Uh, all, almost all the apps. For example, like uh, this is called this is WeChat. Nice. Uh, Mon, Mon, Monstra. Monstra can also put it to phone mode. Cool. This is really awesome. So you ha you actually have three running windows right now. Yep. Yeah. And uh, just next to each other, you have uh, different apps running at the same time. Yep. What's the processor? Uh, the processor. This one is using an Nvidia Tegra Four. So uh, Tegra Four, not K One, no. No K One. No K One. Tegra Four. Tegra Four. So it's a quad core ARM Cortex uh, A Nine, no. Yep. And <coughs> but you can do all this on the Tegra Four. Yep. And, and let me play a video. So. I can play a video in a window, and I, actually I can play multiple videos at the same time. Whoa. That's a really powerful multi-window experience. I mean, some people have been trying to do multi-window a little bit, so how do you compare with all the multi-windows from Samsung and some other ones uh, on so, Android? Uh, so I think the difference is, first of all, we uh, invented this phone mode because we wanted uh, the app to behave as they are on the phone. Yeah. And also, uh, I think we also put a lot of work into multi windows to make sure that 100% of the Android apps will behave well on this multi window. 100% of the apps just behave well. Well, we, we that's our goal. Now it's probably at 99 or something. Okay. We, we, Which one doesn't work good? We constantly try. To, so uh, we will try to go through the list of the top apps on Google Play, and whenever we find an app has problem, we try to fix it. So. Um, so we constantly try to improve the multimedia experience. So when it goes from this, the small window to the big, it has to restart? There's no way to just make it? At this it. moment, yes. Yeah? Uh, for the next version, we allow them to automatically resize. So where is your design uh, guys, the engineers, where are they based? Uh, they are all based in Beijing. All in Beijing. Nobody is in Shenzhen? Uh, for Shenzhen, it's our hardware manufacturing team. So the, the, the people making the hardware is in Yep, the hardware Shenzhen. is made in Foxconn. Whoa. It's manufactured by Foxconn. All right, this, this, is, this is a high quality material, right? It's not going to yep. break? Yep, it's aluminum. So are you selling this already or no? Yes, uh, we were on Kickstarter in March uh, for a month and we raised a total of 250,000 USD uh, and we are currently selling it on Amazon. So what was the price for each of them on, on Kickstarter? On Kickstarter, I think we, we give them a discount. So it ranges from 40, which is a heavy discount, to 350. Did you say 40? 
Yes. Uh, the for, first ones, they for, could for buy the first, 40. For first 200, we give our promotion price. Cool. Yep. And uh, so, what's the retail price? The retail price on Amazon now is 399 USD. $399. Yeah. So, are you making a version with a faster ARM processor? Yes. Uh, we're actually making one with um, Qualcomm 8994, uh, likely by the end of this year, with also 4G LTE capability. So, 8994, did you say? Yes. Which one is that? Is that the, the, the Qualcomm? Uh, Currently, I think it's, it's like, like the Snapdragon 8, 805? Yeah, or? 810, I think. 810, it's yes. like the 810, so it's yes. a big little 64-bit octa-core. Uh, yes. All right, <coughs> this is going to be really powerful. How about all the ports? Are they going to be the same? So currently this one, uh, this is a speaker, this is a, a volume control, and we have a micro USB here. Uh, but we also give users an OTG connector, so that you can actually connect this to a USB drive or USB keyboard. Like this. Cool. So this is just a standard OTG. So you have a USB host. Yeah. You, yeah. But you don't have full size USB host on the actual. No, we don't. Um, next generation, hopefully, we are going to add it because right. there are a lot of users who actually want that. How how soon you will make the next generation? Do you have enough funds to go quickly now? You can uh, yep. do next things. Yep. Yep. So how soon? Uh, probably by the end of this year. So there will be also USB Type C or what uh, do you think? What other feature maybe you're considering? Uh, USB Type-C, we're considering, uh, and also with a standard USB-A. So this, this, this version of Android is really, really nice. Are you considering maybe letting other people use your solution? Yes, we actually work with a lot of other um, chipset companies and also IDH design houses, OEMs, to preload this version of Android into their devices. So we work with also other um, chip companies like Allwinner, uh, Qualcomm, MTK, to try to preload this um, OS into the other chipsets. Is anybody using it yet or not yet? Yes, there are already people using that. So which chipset is using? Uh, MTK, for example, or Wiener. Yeah. All right, and uh, um, <coughs> is it possible to have this kind of functionality based on the basic Nexus kind of UI, but just adding the multi-window functionality that you have, or maybe some other things? Uh, we could, uh, but actually our like, launcher actually works seamlessly with this. So for example, like, if I want to close an app, this will actually close an app, and also for I can drag an icon here to lock it here. Nice. So that uh, what do you call it? The tray. The tray. Yeah. To the tray. To so the tray is pretty important for your UI, and this this part is important. Yeah. But uh, maybe the style of the icons could be more like a Nexus, or is that totally uh, up to? Yeah, we, we are, users can of course install other icon, uh, other apps. Uh, but we try to make the UI consistent. This is the so it's a normal tablet just has only these two. Yep. All the other stuff is you added, right? Right, right. And how we, about the here? Uh, this is just a no notification, Android notification and switcher. So you have these kind of icons for the. Um, uh, you can you can turn yeah. Wi-Fi on and off. You can turn Bluetooth on and off. Yep. Right. So is it based on Android? Uh, what version? Uh, five point zero. So you are Lollipop. in Lollipop. Yep. Five point one. Uh, maybe later. Maybe later. Yep. We is it stable? Switch from, uh, yep, this is an internal version. So the current public version is based on 4.4, but we are going to launch this based on 5.0 version very soon. This the the backers on Kickstarter, they already all got their device or not? Yep, yet? they already all got the device. So how many people were there? Uh, about 1,000. 1,000 people, everybody yep. got it, and yep. uh, everybody can go and order right now on Amazon. Yes, correct. And it's shipping Im yep. immediately. Shipping immediately. Stock is there. Yep, yep. So what is your background? How, do you, how are you able to do this? So uh, three founders of Giant uh, all come from Google, so including myself. Uh, I joined Google and worked for Google for 10 years before I quit and started my own For company. 10 years? You were one of the founders? Yes. Or kind of. So, you, so three Googlers yep. started this in Beijing? Yes, correct. All right. And does it have uh, the Play Store or everything? So the, yes. the market is not... China so much, right? It's uh, mostly the rest of the yes, world? Yes, there's a China version and there's a global version. For the global version, we have Google Play, we have all the apps uh, that users are used to. And um, for China, of course, we have to have the China version of Google Play. So the reason you, you spun out of Google is because Google didn't want to do these functions? or what, What's Google doing with the Android for... They're talking about Android for work, but it's not really usable for like a laptop or something. 
I think right? Google basically focused on the framework and also the underlying security of the system. But we think that there's a lot we can do to make the UI more user-friendly and also make it more PC-like so that users can actually use it for work. Is it open source? Free? Uh, you, don't, you don't want to do that? Not at this moment because we are fast. We were quickly iterating the UI and also building a lot of new features. Would you consider doing something like that? Sometime in the future. Because maybe Google will just take it and integrate it into real Android. Mm, maybe in the future. <laughs> Is there any business model that could work with that? If people want to mm. use your UI, they have to pay a license? Uh, no, no. We are actually working with hardware manufacturers, give them the OS for free it's for them to use. But so, then how do you make money? Uh, I th we believe that with enough user base, we can profit by, for example, selling theme markets to the users and also other promotions. In the future, you can make optimized apps for productivity. Correct. Yep. And kind of like make money like that or yep. something. Yep. So you just promotion. want as many people as possible to use your UI. Yes, in, it, the, in the short um, time frame, we just want to push this out to the users and to uh, produce a good experience for the user. But is this, this is just a home replacement or you, you modify the firmware a lot? We, we modify the framework because in order to have all these apps running on it at the same time, we have to modify the framework. And also one thing I didn't show you, um, we actually uh, uh, we have very good keyboard and mouse support. So for example, uh, this is a trackpad, but I can also use a mouse. I can do a right click to have a right click menu. So you can right click? Yep. For example, this is, this is uh, I should change it to English. So this is to hide the taskbar, okay. for example. And I also can enable the taskbar again. All right. And also in different, um, uh, for example, we build this file manager app, which allows you to have my documents, my pictures and you can actually select a bunch of files and then do a copy and then paste it somewhere else. This is really good. Paste. But Android needs a lot more stuff like this, right? To become a real desktop uh, yeah. OS, We right? hope that a lot more, of more and more apps uh, will support this and also the productivity. For example, currently we have our own email app did you provide APIs or something for developers to do more desktop stuff? Or? Uh, no need, because they, all, they can already support this kind of like right click. And, uh, right click? Every app in Android can do stuff like that already? They, they, can, support, they can support right click. Yeah. And multi-window stuff? Multi-window, uh, uh, no need, because we actually build the underlying framework. Right. And Microsoft actually also uh, have Office on Android, which is a good thing. So nice. this actually brings uh, the... Uh, office experience into and into Android. It's a Microsoft Word document. You can select and you can control C to copy. It seems really fast. Place. This is just next. This is a uh, Tegra four. Huh? Yes, correct. All right. So how long have you been working on this? That means it's been going on for a long time. Uh, we started building this uh, early last year. Uh, it's, uh, we built the software and hardware in about seven months, and it's launched late last year. Did you have to partner closely with uh, NVIDIA to make it happen? or uh, We partner with NVIDIA, we partner with Foscon, who build the mechanical parts and also do the manufacturing for us.